Hey guys, it's Crazy Coupons. Welcome back to my channel and happy Friday, everyone. So in today's video, I have seven five off $25 scenarios for this Saturday at Dollar General and one is as low as 88 cents out of pocket. So before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It's a free way that you can help my channel grow. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, deals you want to share, or if you just want to say hello, I love hearing from you guys. So please leave me a comment down below before you go and also take a minute and share this video with somebody that you know so that they can in on these deals as well all right guys let's jump right in now if you're looking for some more scenarios for saturday i did upload a video yesterday with some five off 30 gain scenarios that you can do this saturday at dollar general if you missed it i'm going to leave a link in a pinned comment down below go and check it out there's one as low as 86 cents per item so for anyone who is new to couponing at Dollar General, please keep in mind that digital coupons are one-time use only per account. Any glitches that are going on can end at any time. So you want to make sure that you scan each item in the app under the list feature to make sure that the digital coupons do attach. And also you want to scan each item to price check because prices do vary from store to store. Now in the past couple of weeks, I have gotten a couple of questions on how I check out on Saturdays when I do these five off $25 scenarios. So here is the order that I go in. First, I'll have the cashier ring up all of my items. Then you want to verify that your subtotal is $25 or more. Keep in mind that that is before taxes. Now, if your store has the newer keypad, you will have to ask the cashier what your subtotal is. If they still have the older keypad in place, it will show your subtotal on the screen. Then I'll type in my phone number and I'll wait for all of my digital coupons to come off. Again, if you have an older keypad, it will show you which digital coupons do apply. Then if I have any paper coupons, I will hand those over last. If your subtotal isn't what you expect it to be, you can always void the transaction because the digital coupons will go directly back onto your account and any paper coupons that you may have handed over will still work because the transaction was never completed. Now, this is very important to remember because if you complete the transaction and you pay for your items and your subtotal isn't what you expect it to be, you cannot take those items back and get your coupons back. Your coupons will not go back onto your account if you complete the transaction. So the best thing to do is just void it out, go back, regroup, try to figure out what happened, what coupons didn't work, and then go try and check out again. And I also want to take a second and say welcome to anyone who is new to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're new to couponing at Dollar General, I just want to say do not hesitate to ask any questions. There is not a stupid question at all on my channel. I am happy to help and there's a lot of awesome couponers on this channel who scroll through the comments and help me answer questions as well. So if you have an issue, go ahead and ask. We will be happy to jump in and help. Now here recently, I know that a few of you have been dealing with some difficult cashiers, you know, the kind that make up their own rules as they go. So how do we deal with these difficult cashiers? My best advice is to go in and be confident, be kind, and know what you're talking about. So number one, be confident. When you go up to check out, be confident about what you're doing. Don't go up to the cashier and start telling them how you're new to couponing and you don't know what you're doing because number one, they are not going to help you learn how to coupon. And number two, they may not even know how to coupon themselves. So just keep that to yourself. Be confident and act like you know what you're doing, even if you don't. And if you have any questions, just leave it in a comment under one of my videos because I'm always checking, especially on Saturdays, just in case anyone has any problems. Number two, be kind. Go up with a smile on your face, ask them how their day is, and keep in mind that they are underpaid and overworked. And that little bit of compassion may go a long way with someone. And number three, my number one tip is know what you're talking about. So go and read the Dollar General couponing policy. Now I've had a couple of the paragraphs uh, scrolling across the screen here while I'm talking, but underneath this video in the description box is a link to the Dollar General couponing policy go and read it for yourself. It is not that long. It is not hard to understand or anything like that. It's a really quick read, one little page, easy peasy. Go and print that off or bookmark it to your phone. That way, if you have any issues with a cashier, such as coupon stacking, like we see on the screen here, you are allowed to stack one manufacturer coupon and Dollar General store coupons. So if you have an issue like that, that's the perfect time to bring out the couponing policy and say, look, it's stated right here. And actually the word allowed is in big capital letters. So with all that being said, there's a couple of things that you do not mention to cashiers or managers. Number one is penny shopping. So if you don't know about penny shopping or if you want to learn more about penny shopping, go and check out my friend Suburban Beards channel. He is linked down in the description box below. He's a lot of really good videos 
for beginners on how to penny shop all the tips and rules that you can imagine so go check him out all the information is in the description box number two is glitching coupons so if a digital coupon is glitching and working on an item you don't want to bring that up to the cashier or the manager because that's just going to tip them off they're going to alert the company and then that glitch is going to get fixed and either way it goes you are not going to get that deal so just make sure that you scan all of your items in the app under the list feature before you go up to the cash register that way you will know what coupons are attaching and working with what items now i know that we're already five minutes into this video and i do apologize i just wanted to get that information out to all of you so that you know um, because i have been getting quite a few questions on that so i am going to be working on a more in-depth beginner video for dollar general so just stay tuned for that all right guys enough of my jibber jabbering let's jump right into these five off 25 dollars scenarios so first up, we're going to do a deal with that P&G Spend 15 and get a $5 coupon on the bottom of your receipt. So for this one, you want to pick up two Charmin Essentials 12 count bath tissues at $10. They are $5 each. Two of the Febreze plugins for $10. They are also $5 each. One of the Gain Flings for $3.95. One Dawn Power Wash for $4.95. One Gain Dish Soap for $2. And one Crest Toothpaste for $2. Your subtotal will be $32.90. And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. And here is your list of coupons. You want to make sure you have your 5 off 25, 2 of the 1 off 1 Charmins, 5 off 2 Febreze plugins, 2 off 1 Dawn Power Wash, 1 off 1 Gain Dish Soap, 1 off 1 Crest Toothpaste, and 1 off 1 Gain Product. Your subtotal after coupons will be $15.90. You're going to get a $5 coupon printed off on the bottom of your receipt, so do not throw that receipt away. And that'll make your final price just $10.90 for 8 items, or just $1.36 each. And don't forget to scan that receipt into the pnggoodeveryday.com website and you're going to earn 250 points towards your next gift card. Now, if you're not signed up, I do have a referral link down in the description box below. All right, so next up, we have another household deal. You want to pick up four of the Pinaline multi-purpose cleaners for $4. They are $1 each found in the dollar aisle. Now, this is a glitch deal and these coupons do expire this Saturday, so you want to make sure that you use all of those up if you have them. Next up, you want to pick up one Pine Saw for $3, one Charmin Essentials bath tissue for $5, one of the Finish Max and One 14 Count Dishwasher Tablets for $3.25, and two of the Febreze Plugins for $10. They are $5 each. Your subtotal will be $25.25. And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. And here is your list of coupons. You want to make sure of your 5 off 25, 2 of the 125 off 2 Pinaline, 35 cents off 1 Pine Sol, 1 off 1 Charmin, 50 cents off 1 Finish, and the 5 off 2 Febreze. Your subtotal after coupons will be $10.90 for 9 items or just $1.21 each. Now, before you leave me a comment down below telling me the typo on this deal, I did spot it out. I accidentally put 50 cents off one Pine Sol. That's actually a 35 cent off one Pine Sol digital coupon, but all of the math is still correct. Your subtotal after coupons will still be $10.90 for nine items or $1.21 each. Then you're going to submit your receipt to Ibotta for 50 cents back on the Pine Sol. That will make your final price just $10.40 for nine items or just $1.15 each. And that's an awesome deal considering we're getting all of these household products. All right, so for this next deal, it's another household deal. You want to pick up two of the Sesame Street cereals for $5, one of the Centrum Vitamins, the 50-count gummies for $7, two of the Colgate toothbrushes, three-count for $5.50, three of the Colgate Max Fresh toothpaste for $7.75, two of the Welch's Fruit Snacks for $0.68, cents, and your subtotal will be $25.93. And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. And here is your list of coupons. You want to make sure you have your 5 off 25, 2 of the 1 off 1 Sesame Street Peelies, the 1 off 2 General Mills Cereal DG Store Coupon, 2 off 1 Centrum Gummies, the 4 off 2 Colgate Products, 5 off 3 Colgate Toothpaste, and the 1 off 2 Welch's Fruit Snacks. Your subtotal after coupons will be just $5.93 for 10 items or just 59 cents each.
But it gets even better because you're going to submit your receipt to Ibotta for $3 back on those Centrum vitamins. And you're going to submit your receipt to Fetch Rewards for $1.20 back on the Sesame Street cereals. Your final price will be $1.73 for 10 items or just $0.17 cents each. Now, if you can't find the one-off one peelies for the Sesame Street cereals, no worries because you can still do this deal and submit your receipt to Ibotta for $3 back and submit your receipt to Fetch for $1.20 back. That will make your final price just $3.73 for 10 items or just $0.37 cents each, which is still a great deal. Now, if you're not already signed up for Ibotta, I highly recommend you go and check it out. There is a link to a video in the description box on how to sign up and use Ibotta. They do have a $20 welcome bonus, and if you use my referral code, which is on the screen here, as well as in the description box below, you will become a part of my team and we can start earning rebates together. So definitely go and check that out. And if you're not signed up for Fetch Rewards, I do not know what you're waiting on. Fetch Rewards is the easiest rebate app out there. All you have to do is take a picture of your receipt. You're going to earn points on the products that you purchased, and then you can turn those points into gift cards. Right now, they're doing a promotion where any receipt that you submit, you're going to get an extra 25 points on. So no matter where it's from, McDonald's, the gas station, wherever, you're going to earn 25 points for just taking a picture of your receipt. Now, my referral code is on the screen as well as in the description box below, and if you use it, you're going to receive a free 2,000 points, which is the equivalent of $2. So, that will make the previous transaction almost free or free plus a little bit of a moneymaker, so go and check out Fetch Rewards. And speaking of Fetch Rewards, the Unilever products are included in their program as well, so you will receive extra points for picking up these products. So for this Unilever deal, you want to pick up two of the Dove hand soaps for $7. They are $3.50 each. Two of the St. Ives body washes for $6. They are $3 each. One of the simple makeup wipes for $4.50. One of the Maybelline nail polishes for $2.50. One Maybelline Eye Pencils 2-Pack for $3.25 and one of the Big Simply Soleil Razors for $3.30. Your subtotal will be $26.55. And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. And here is your list of coupons. You want to make sure you're 5 off 25. The 1 off 2 Dove Hand Soap DG Store Coupon. The BOGO Free Dove Hand Soap from the Unilever. 2 off 2 St. Ives Products DG Store Coupon. 2 of the 1 off 1 St. Ives Body Wash from the Unilever. The 2 off 1 Simple Face Wipes from the Unilever. The 2 off 1 Maybelline DG Store Coupon. The 2 off 1 Maybelline Eye Digital Coupon. And the 3 off 1 Bic Razors. Your subtotal after coupons will be just $3.05 for 8 items or just $0.38 cents each. Now, next up is another Unilever deal. It's kind of a little twist on the last scenario. So, you can pick up two of the Dove hand soaps for $7, two of the St. Ives body washes for $6, two of the Suave Professionals shampoos and conditioners for $6. They are $3 each, one Maybelline eye pencil two-pack for $3.25, and one of the Big Simply Solo razors for $3.30. Your subtotal will be $25.55. And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. And here is your list of coupons. Now, I'm not going to go through and read all of these again. I'm kind of getting a little tongue-tied with all of these uh, similar coupons. So, instead of using the simple face wipes, which we're not picking up in this scenario, nor are we picking up the Maybelline nail polish, we are just going to be putting in that 3 off 2 Swab Professionals coupon from the Unilever. So, your subtotal after coupons will be just $2.05 for 8 items or just $0.25 cents each. And, like I said, all the Unilever products are included in the Fetch Rewards program, so do not forget to scan your receipt into the app. All right, so next up, we have a lot of really good coupons on makeup this week. So here is our makeup deal. You want to pick up one of the Maybelline Eye Pencils 2-Pack for $3.25, one of the Maybelline Nail Polishes for $2.50, one Believe Beauty Nail Polish for $2, one of the CoverGirl Eye Pencils 2-Pack for $4.50, one of the Chic Classic Razors for $4.50, one of the Big Simply Soleil Razors for $3.30, one of the Aveeno Lotions for $4.75, and one of the Playtex Sport Tan for $4.50. Your subtotal will be $29.30. And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario.
And here is your list of coupons. You want to make sure of your 5 off 25, the 2 off 1 Maybelline DG Store Coupon, the 2 off 1 Maybelline Eye, the 1 off 1 Believe Nail Polish, the 3 off 1 CoverGirl Eye Product, 3 off 1 Chic Razors, the 3 off 1 Bic Razors, 3 off 1 Aveeno Lotion, and 3 off 1 Playtex Sport Tampons. Your subtotal after coupons will be just $3.30 for all eight items or just $0.41 cents each. Now, keep in mind, if you have some of those four off one Bic Razors paper coupons from a couple of weeks ago, your final price will be just $2.30 for eight items or just $0.28 cents each. Now, I do want to mention that I found out that the Bic Razor DG Store Coupon and the Manufacturer Insert Coupon, those two do not stack. So, you'll have to pick which one that you want to use. You can use the DG Store Coupon or you can use the Insert Coupon, which will give you overage. Those both work on the Bic Soleil Razors, but you'll have to choose which one you want to use. And if you still have that three off one Bic Razors on your account and you want to use your paper coupon instead, you may want to hand that over first before typing in your phone number. Now, I did find out that the four off one insert coupon and the three off one DG store coupon for the Bic Razors are not stacking, so you'll have to pick either one that you want to use. Um, if you have the insert coupon and you want to use that and you still have the three off one on your account, I would recommend handing that over first before you type in your phone number. Now, whenever I have to hand over paper coupons First, I always like to have a paper 5 off 25 to go along with that. So I'll hand them over the 5 off 25 paper coupon. Then I'll hand them over the 4 off 1 bit coupon. Then I'll type in my phone number. Now, with that being said, the newer systems, it doesn't really seem to matter what order you type in your phone number or hand over paper coupons. I think it all kind of comes off the same. So it is up to you, but that's just how I would do it if I were doing this scenario and using the 4 off 1 and still had that 3 off 1 on my account. All right, guys, so here is our seventh and final deal. Now, this is a low out-of-pocket deal. There are a lot of coupons that are expiring this Saturday, so make sure that you go through your account and see which coupons you want to use before they expire. So for this scenario, you want to pick up four of the Pineline Multipurpose Cleaners for $4. They are a dollar each. One of the Lime Away Toilet Bowl Cleaners, also a dollar found in the dollar aisle. One of the Airwick Warmers for $1.65. One of the Big Simply Soleil Razors for $3.30. One of the Maybelline Eye Pencils 2-Pack for $3.25. One Believe Beauty Nail Polish for $2. One CoverGirl Eye Pencil 2-Pack for $4.50. One of the Always Discreet Liners for $3. One of the Crest Toothpaste for $2. One of the Chargento Breakfast Snacks for $1.25. And two of the Welch's Fruit Snacks for $0.68. Your subtotal will be $26.63. And here are the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. Now, notice I did not have room to put the one-off two Welch's Fruit Snacks, so if you need a visual on that, you can find that in some of the previous scenarios. And here's your list of coupons. You want to make sure you're 5 off 25. Two of the 125 off two Pinelines, the 150 off one Airwick product, 75 cents off one Lime Away, three off one Bic Razors, 2 off 1 Maybelline Product DG Store Coupon, the 2 off 1 Maybelline Eye, 1 off 1 Believe Nail Polish, 3 off 1 CoverGirl Eye Product, 3 off 1 Always Discreet, the 1 off 1 Crest Toothpaste, the 1 off 1 Sargento Breakfast, and the 1 off 2 Welch's Fruit Snacks. Your subtotal after coupons will be just 88 cents for 15 items or just 5 cents each. Now that is an awesome deal. All right, guys, thank you all so, so much for coming by and hanging out with me for a little bit today. Now, I do apologize. This video's getting out there a little bit later than I would have liked to have had it, but I had to go back and correct some math mistakes that I made and kind of overlooked earlier today. So I do apologize, but all of that is fixed and good to go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I wish all of you good luck tomorrow with your Saturday scenarios. Now, as always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. Now, before you go, please make sure that you are subscribed and make sure that you turn on your notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video or make a post in the community tab. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. It's a free way that you can help my channel grow. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, deals you want to share, or if you just want to say hello, I love hearing from you guys. So please leave me a comment down below before you go. And also take a minute and share this video with somebody that you know so that they can in on these deals as well. All right, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you on the next one.